What's poppin', everyone? Um, <clears throat> I'm sitting in my car waiting for um Lolo to get home from school, and um, hey, so I wanted to hop on because. I've been getting all these texts like, oh my God, you okay? Don't I want to make sure you good. I want to make sure you good. And y'all not even going to hold y'all. Like, I'm good. <laughs> like, um, I just come to the realization that um, it's weird for y'all, some of y'all, to see people really in worship like not Instagram worship not I'm trying to sell some records worship so I'm, let me get on here and sing my new gospel song like in worship and I just like most of y'all don't know the Lord y'all don't know the Lord and 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 those of us who but I didn't I didn't wake up this morning feeling defeated or feeling feeling like I, I can't you know go on or nothing like that like I get up at like 6 30 in the morning y'all and I get my baby ready for school I take him to school every day and in between that time I gotta get ready to go to work and in between that time you know I actually pray <laughs> in the morning and um you know, running businesses and being a single mother and then, you know, having your own triggers and having your own life, you know, issues, whatever, you know, life is not easy. And so like when you're in prayer, when you are, you know, um, talking to God, you know what I'm saying? Like there are things that in your life that, you know, you, you are talking to him about things you're not happy about things, you know, that you're going through. It hasn't defeated you. It hasn't taken you down. But these are things that you are talking to God about and you know you gotta really be specific because there's a lot of people tugging on God <laughs> about things you know and this morning I just I needed some peace over some situations and things that I myself can't control I'm in my right mind I'm not struggling mentally I am not you know going through a tough time where it's like I am mentally spent, although I have been there. That's not where I am now. I I know where my help comes from, my real help comes from. Now, don't don't get me wrong, like since I got robbed and all of that, like I've been in therapy every day. Because, you know, triggers are real and I am totally responsible when it comes to my mental health so I just want to let y'all know that being in worship praising God it's not abnormal it's not abnormal it's actually something that we should actually see more of and I feel like that's why it's so unrecognizable because people don't see people in real worship, <laughs> you know, real worship. And so I just wanted to hop on and let y'all know that um, God is good. He, his mercy endures forever. And, you know, I, I lean on his grace and his mercy and I know where his hands is and it's on me <laughs> so um I just want to let y'all know that and what's up everyone welcome to my channel a very good morning to you from wherever you're watching me from my name is Lino from Kenya East of Africa and in case this is a very first time here disclaimer my accent is a bit different because you know 
uh it's african actually from kenya east of africa and yeah i'm back here guys to update you on what's happening in the internet and uh something that just happened uh uh you all know uh tamar braxton and you know jeremy and you if you don't know uh, these two have broken up after one year of being engaged and you know this news was broken by tamar Buxton, you know ex-husband jeremy and you know he went a uh, direct to his uh insta story and that is where he addressed the breakup and everything and i'm just going to be reading everything he had to say uh and i'm also going to attach it so that you can read for yourself uh concerning their breakup now this is what he said so many questions so many assumptions i want to answer all that i can with respect yes tamar and i no longer together i entered the relationship to focus on getting back to positive energy and being a better person what happened and why that's our private place no i never cheated no i wasn't there when she was at her mother's place when her car was uh burglarized no i never cared about them who reveals their most embarrassing moments in their lives to find fame i have always represented famous people and the truth is i was in an amazing place financially and mentally i turned down queen's court several times because i gave in ultimately i fell in love and it did not end how i wanted it so i want to heal tamar and i will always be friends and family for life thank you for respecting our privacy that is what um uh, jeremy uh, jr robinson went ahead and wrote in his insta story you know there have been allegations and uh, allegations and you know rumors saying that you know he cheated and all that stuff you know saying that he was not there for her but he has clarified that in this post by saying that he did not cheat or tamar and also you know uh he wasn't there when she was at her mother's place when her car was burglarized and you know he also added that he never cared about fame uh just in case people might think that uh he was just after fame he also said that you know uh nobody reveals the embarrassing moments in their life to find fame so i don't know what you all think about this because this uh, couple really looked perfect you know uh for each other you all know that they have they engaged an year ago at queen's court and uh, you know uh the uh robinson actually revealed uh, these news of their breakup on monday on social media and he also asked uh, for privacy during this hard time from the public and you know uh tamar is only 46 years old and uh, you know now he's no longer together uh with uh with robinson after dating uh since or since the first season finale of peacock reality series which aired in march and i don't know what you all think about this story but just go ahead and tell us in the comment section uh the attorney refused he also added that the attorney refused to diverge details of their split saying that what happened and why that's their private place now guys i think we should respect their privacy continue supporting both of them in their uh you know in their in whatever they do and yeah that's all for now i'll update you with more news i've been your host uh caroline from kenya east africa and guys if you want vlogs uh maybe if you're curious you know uh how do african hotels look like houses look like and all that stuff just go ahead in the comment section and tell me maybe you know i can do a video when we hit 20,000 subscribers showing you around here and uh, yeah that's all for today's video let's meet in the next one bye please subscribe and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that you can always stay updated whenever a video is uploaded on this account